<laughs> okay. <laughs> Happy <laughs> video editing. Yeah. Okay. So here's what we're going to do. I am going, I'm, all I'm doing is inviting Ragnar to see the information and Shirley is going to present for me because that's someone else. So what happens, the dynamics of this is Ragnar understands all I had to do was an invitation. She did the presentation. So I want him to know that he can do this. See, to have a really effective presentation, in fact, let's come back here so more people can see. Would you guys come up front? So there's uh, a handful of questions that people have when they're looking at this business. They want to know, number one, does it work? That's an easy one to answer because we got 12 years, $3 billion in sales, $2 billion in sales in the last three years, Inc. 5,000 fastest growing company, the last four years in a row. I mean, only a full doubt's proof, right? I mean, it works. Hundreds, uh, over 100 IMDs, you name it, it's working, right? So number one, does it work? Number two is, can I do it? So that's the biggest thing that holds people back is they don't believe they can be successful in the business. So I want to show Ragnar a system where he believes he can do it. Well, how do I do that effectively? Is I show him all I had to do was invite him to see the information. If he believes he can invite, he believes he can be successful. So that's how you, and the two on one is how you answer the question, you can do it. Step number three is, will you help me? That's why this is my favorite way to present the business because he's seeing that I'm getting help right now. So if he sees me getting help, do you think he'll believe he gets help? He's way more likely to believe he's going to get help. Okay? So this is the two on one presentation. Now, here's how you want to set up a, a two on one presentation. Between me and Ragnar, we're friends, we have trust. He knows me, he likes me, hopefully he trusts me. Okay? Well, between Ragnar and Shirley, they don't know each other. We're pretending. We pretend like they don't know each other. Okay? So there's no trust factor. So the relationship, the dynamics of why this works... See, we have the trust. It's my job to establish credibility between Ragnar and Shirley. Okay? It's my job to establish that credibility. It's a combination of trust and credibility that makes it work really well. So here's the way you do it, is through edification. Edification is just saying nice things about Shirley and saying nice things about Ragnar. <coughs> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to sit down... And I say, Ragnar, hey man, I appreciate you sitting down with me. It means the world to me. Um, I'm going to introduce you to Shirley. Shirley, this is my friend Ragnar. Ragnar and I have been friends a long time. Man, he's one of the most positive, optimistic, fun people that I know. Uh, man, he's always the life of the party. Everyone loves him. He's super ambitious. And I think if he understands what we're doing, he will just absolutely be, he'll be able to crush it. So Ragnar, this is my friend uh, Shirley. And Shirley is, I just feel amazingly blessed to work with her because she's one of the very top leaders in the area here doing what we're doing. And so very, very intelligent, amazing businesswoman. And she's got all the facts and all the information about the idea that we're working on. Because I probably used the word idea. I've got an idea I want to share with you. She has all the information on the idea that I want to share with you. So Ragnar, meet Shirley. Awesome. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to say that I, I might do the three-step setup. And I'm going to say, listen, I, I wanted you to see this because here's what's been going on in my life. Uh, when I met Shirley and I saw this, I was all in. So I'm all in on this. And if you love it, great. If not, that's great too. And if there's anyone I'd love to work with, it's you. So Shirley, take it away. Now I shut up at this point. So I'm going to let Shirley do the presentation. And at no point, hear me. At no point am I going to interrupt Shirley. At no point am I going to say, Shirley, also tell them about this. Also tell them about this. Okay? Because what happens is, as soon as I interrupt, I break the relationship of credibility. She must not be the expert if I'm interrupting. We understand? Yes. Okay? So I've done hundreds of presentations. Thousands of two-on-ones over the years. And whenever I have someone interrupt me doing a presentation, the chance of closing the sale goes way down because I broke the relationship of credibility. 
So he's the reason why he should listen to Shirley. I've got to give him a reason to listen to her. And the way I do that is I edify her. I raise her up. I make her the expert. I'm amazingly blessed to be able to work with her. See, I'm showing him how much I respect her, so he thinks he should respect her too. So he's less likely to interrupt. See, if it's just me and Ragnar and I'm going through the information with him, we're buddies. He's going to interrupt me. He's going to be like, dude, well, what about this and this and this? But because he respects her, he's not going to do that as much. He's going to listen. Yeah? Yes. Does this make sense? Yeah. Yes. Awesome. Thank you guys. Give him a hand. So that's a presentation. Now you can